recently I ordered an Alien Gear holster from AlienGearHolsters.com. After waiting about two weeks for the holster to be made, my package finally arrived in the mail. So, we're going to open this up and see what we got. This should be a nice holster for my M&P pistol. I have a little M&P shield that I want to carry. And I read about Alien Gear holsters on Facebook and a couple other places, and I decided to check them out. So, first off, right out of the bag, let me just say, it's a nice touch. Get a nice branded bag here, nice plastic bag keeping all the contents together. Looks pretty awesome. Dump everything out. Got a piece of paper, oh, that's my receipt. Oh, nifty. Comes with a good set of instructions, information about the warranty, talking about their guarantee, there's information on how to wear their holsters and how to use them properly. Probably can't read that. Oh, and then on the back it talks about how to adjust the holster. And it also has a cool QR code. I guess I'll scan that later and see where that goes. Alright, other items in the bag. Looks like I got a nice bag of uh, screws, grommets, and spacers of all different sizes. Looks like there's about 15 spacers in there. Two or three Chicago screw pieces and also an allen wrench another nice touch these generally come with blade tech holsters and uh, i really like getting the bag of spare parts because before long if you wear a firearm every day you know that you lose screws and parts and pieces they just disappear it's kind of like disappearing socks in the dryer anyhow here's the holster um, there's a couple little marks on it i've already had it out of the bag and tried it out i opened it up before i did this video and test drove it but uh, the holster is uh, well constructed. It's a hybrid holster. It's constructed of uh, Kydex and single ply leather. I see it's got uh, two or three sets of Chicago screws and it's got some really, really stout. I don't know if you can see these, but these are really stout steel clips. All right, as I said, I ordered this for my M&P shield. I was checking the fit and finish earlier, so I got some marks on here. Plus, I wore it for about a half a day just to see how comfortable it is. Getting an M&P. Check to make sure we're clear there. The M&P has a really good fit in there. The sweat shield, I like that it comes up all the way past the back of the firearm, so that's going to keep that from rubbing on me while I'm carrying it. The front Kydex. The front kydex is stood off a little bit from the leather. I don't know if you can see that in the video here, but there's about a quarter inch gap right here with a little rubber grommet underneath there. Nice Chicago screws and screw sets going through. The shake test. Uh, retention. It's about 50-50 on retention. I'm sure when I'm wearing it, it's going to lock in there. It doesn't. It has a little groove in here where it's locking on the trigger guard. It doesn't lock up like a blade tech does. Uh, definitely doesn't lock up like a Serpa. It's a good friction fit though in there for retention. Empty gun holds to a pretty good shake. It's coming out about a quarter inch. But uh, overall, it looks like it'll stay put where I want it once I'm wearing it. Um, everything looks to be really well constructed. Got really nice thick leather here that looks like it's a little bit over an eighth of an inch. Looks like it's maybe three or four millimeter leather basically 3 16 inch material. The Kydex appears to be 90 thousandths Kydex. Um, I would not be at all worried to wear this and uh, have to go prone on top of this holster or anything of that nature. It looks fairly stout. Looks like it's going to be an awesome holster. Um, we're going to try it out. Okay, part two of the review. After I wore the holster for a couple of days. Um, as you can see, the holster's already starting to shape itself. It's getting some nice curvature in there from uh, where it's pressing against my body. Um, good news is it's not absorbed a lot of sweat. It does appear to have uh, some kind of oil finish or some kind of uh, curing compound on the leather, so it's not staining at all. Everything fits in real well. Everything carried real well. Down in here, you can see the leather starting to catch marks from the firearm. I have a few test draws out of here just to try it from concealment. Uh, a few little spots in the leather, but that's real typical. What that is is where all the control surfaces are touching against the side of the leather. 
overall for comfort. It's not too bad for comfort. I do wish there was a second ply of leather back here to cover up some of these screws so they're not touching on me. We're going to see how the uh, Texas summer does with sweat and such. I'm really hoping these aren't going to start to rust or corrode. If they do, I'll try and post an update to this video to let you all know. Overall for comfort, I would say it's about four stars out of five. It's pretty good. So it's fairly comfortable. The price point was right on this holster. The holster cost me right at $30. Um, you know, if they had that second ply they had to add to the back there, I would expect that to add about $10 or $15 to the cost of the holster. That may be something that Alien Gear comes out with in the future. Who knows? Overall, I would say the holster is a good value.